The Indian Coast Guard and Navy are exploring underwater drones to strengthen surveillance across India's 2.3 million square kilometers, exclusive economic zone. These unmanned underwater vehicles, UUVs, will track fishing boats, curb illegal fishing, detect threats, and protect marine resources. While the Coast Guard focuses on monitoring and enforcement, the Navy plans ISR, anti-submarine, and mine detection roles. Powered by AI and indigenous technology, these drones enhance maritime security, deter incursions, and reduce risks of manned patrols. The Indian Army plans to buy a locally made enhanced range artillery projectile to extend 155 mm fire to 60 to 70 km and potentially 80 km with ramjet. Compatible with 3945 52 caliber guns and targeting 925 meters per second muzzle velocity, enhanced range artillery projectile blends rocket assist, mortar trajectory and base bleed tech. It complements current ammo, boosts strike depth, and supports make in India. Challenges include weight, stability, barrel wear on older guns, testing, funding, and possible GPS or INS guidance for precision. Apollo Microsystems subsidiary Apollo Strategic Technologies Private Limited has signed an MOU with U.S.-based Defense Engineering and Design Incorporated to co-develop and produce rocket motors for the BM-21 Grad 122mm rockets, including extended-range versions. This move complements Apollo's indigenously developed Grad warhead and aims for full-scale production by mid-2026. The partnership boosts India's Atmanirbha Bharat push, strengthens multi-barrel rocket launcher firepower, reduces import reliance, and enhances supply resilience, critical for rapid replenishment during conflicts and modernization of India's artillery arsenal. The Indian Air Force plans to acquire 300 to 400 inflatable dummies, resembling fighter jets, helicopters, and air defense systems to boost deception tactics along borders with China and Pakistan. These decoys, proven effective in past operations like Operation Sindor, mimic radar, thermal, and visual signatures to mislead enemy surveillance and protect real assets. Sourced from Indian manufacturers under Make in India, the low-cost systems will strengthen survivability, divert enemy strikes, and enhance operational readiness against modern threats like drones and missiles. India's Shakti helicopter engine, co-developed with France's Safran, is on track to achieve 100% indigenous production by 2027 to 28, up from the current 70%. Safran has agreed to full technology transfer covering key components like FADEC and turbine modules. HAL and private firms will lead manufacturing under Atmanirbha Bharat. With over 500 units already produced, Shakti powers ALH Dhruv, LCH Prachhand, and light utility helicopters. Full indigenization will cut costs, reduce foreign dependence, and boost India's aerospace self-reliance. At the DSCI 2025 Expo in London, Tata Advanced Systems Limited revealed the first image of the DRDO TSL Advanced Armored Platform Wheeled, a modern 8x8 amphibious combat vehicle. Evolving from the WAP 8x8, it features modular armor, advanced mobility, and a turret with a 30-40mm cannon and ATGM options. Backed by the Indian Army's order for 198 units, the APWH positions India as a competitive global armored vehicle supplier, boosting indigenous defense and export potential. The Indian Air Force has proposed acquiring 114 Rafale fighter jets under a Rs 2 lakh crore project, making it India's biggest defense deal if cleared. The jets would be built by Dassault Aviation in collaboration with Indian firms with over 60% indigenous content to support the Make in India initiative. The Defense Ministry has begun reviewing the proposal, which will go through the Defense Procurement Board and later the Defense Acquisition Council. This move would expand the IF's Rafale fleet, 
strengthen air power, boost domestic defense production, and generate jobs and technology gains. A Russian team will soon visit House Nashik facility to assess its readiness to produce the Su-57 E fifth-generation stealth fighter. India is considering 40 to 60 jets to fill urgent air power gaps as squadron strength falls to 31, and China and Pakistan expand their stealth fleets. Nashik, which built over 220 Su-30 MKIs, could adapt with minimal upgrades, enabling cost savings and local production. The Su-57E offers technology transfer, 60% localization, and lower costs than the US F-35, making it attractive despite concerns over stealth effectiveness, engine reliability, and geopolitical risks tied to sanctions and strained supply chains. Larsen and Tubro and the Indian Navy's Submarine Design Group are collaborating on Project 76, a new class of 2,500-ton diesel electric submarines. Based on the Navy's SOV 500 midget submarine design, the blueprint will be ready in 1.5 months. If approved, LNT aims to build six submarines in 10 years at its Catapali shipyard. With high indigenous content, advanced sensors, stealth features, and potential AIP systems, Project 76 will boost India's self-reliance and underwater warfare strength. India's GTRE and France's Safran are advancing a $7 billion joint venture to co-develop a powerful 120 to 140 kN fighter engine for future jets. The modular engine will power the AMCA MK2, 120 units, and TED BF, 80 units, ensuring an initial run of over 400 engines with long-term demand rising to 600 plus. India will gain full IPR and modification rights, boosting self-reliance. Scalable for 6th-gen fighters and UCAVs, the engine will feature advanced cooling, supercruise, and adaptive upgrades. Flight testing starts in 2028, with production by 2035, strengthening Indo-French defense ties. That's all for today, hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe, for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.